The Keystone XL pipeline extension would stretch for a while. The entire national energy discussion revolved around a single pipeline. Sometimes it seems the more difficult an energy source is to harness, the more attention it receives. If you'll give me a chance to serve, I'll bring the EPA and the Agriculture Department and all the people together, and we'll use ethanol as a part of our nation's energy security future. For example, corn ethanol receives $7 billion in subsidy each year. Corn ethanol's return on energy investment is 1.3 times. Only 30% more energy is recovered from corn ethanol than went into producing it. Ethanol is a lousy molecule. I'm sorry, but the farm lobby did a really good job because they had a lot of money <laughs> to be able to peddle a really grossly inferior molecule like ethanol. It's got 25% less energy density per mole than regular old gasoline. And it costs a hell of a lot more money per liter to make. Even Al Gore, who was a key proponent of corn ethanol, acknowledges the subsidy was a mistake. The energy conversion ratios are, at best, very small. How does corn's 1.3 times compare against other energy sources?